This video is intended to cover some of the main points of the measure feature in Enhanced GC Preview and to uh, show you how to operate that function. There are a number of div uh, dimensions that we may want to make or measure on a circuit board. Um, the first one that I look at is just the, the size of a feature. So by hovering your crosshair over a feature, the information about that feature is displayed down in the lower left hand corner. You can see it highlighted down here in the status bar. And as I move from feature to feature, that information is updated. It includes the dimension of the feature, the shape of the aperture being used, in the case of a trace, the start point and end point, and in the case of a pad, the center point or the datum point of that, uh, that aperture. Um, our measure mode, though, allows us to measure between features, so distances between features. And let's say, for sake of argument, we want to measure how close this round pad is to this trace. Uh, go into measure mode and we can either go in through the toolbar button is the measure uh, option here or you can also right click switch mode 2 and go out of the normal mode into the measure mode once in measure mode we need two uh, features de defined um, you can see up here in our area where we would display the, the uh, dimensions that currently I have no measure objects defined simply to find a, an object just simply left click on that object uh, with your mouse. So I left click on this trace and I have one measure object defined and now when I click on the round pad you can see that the distance if I zoom in is displayed between those two features. Now we can move between the edge to edge of a feature which is obviously the closest distance. We can also have the center to center so it would be the center line of the trace here to the center of the pad also the center of the first object, which is the trace if you remember, to the edge of the second and the edge of the first to the center of the second. And um, I will co come back to grip points in a little bit because they're more of a specialized case. So we can choose which of these features we, we want to show. We also have the option, uh, as you can read down here, some, some helpful tips. You can hold down the shift key and just double click your mouse to cycle through. So center to center, center to edge, edge to center, grip points, and back to edge to edge again. Um, it's important to, to remember which object you, you have defined first and which object you have, have defined second, because if you hit the escape key, we'll basically forget the second object that we've defined, leaving the, the initial first object um, uh, uh, remembered, and then we can simply click on another feature to redefine our second object. So I went from measuring from this trace to this pad, essentially forgetting this pad and moving to a new second feature, I can now measure between these two traces. Now if I click a, a point now, um, it will now update and forget the first feature, the second feature becomes the, the new first one, and so on. So now I can simply move between features, so this feature to this feature, and this feature to this feature, or if I wanted to make dimensions from a, uh, a single feature to a lot of other features, I can just use the escape key and now I'm measuring from that first uh, remembered feature to a number of second features. Uh, quite useful if you're dimensioning, uh, finding dimensions of drill uh, from, a, from a known data point, for example. Um, there's also the option if I click this new first and second point here. Um, I may also need to know the, the distance. Let's go to center to center. Uh, this is showing me the, um, the hypotenuse distance. I may also want to know both the, the, the pure horizontal and pure vertical. Again, showing me uh, some hints down here with the orthogonal distances. I can simply hold down the control button, double click, and the display will refresh with the horizontal, the vertical, and the angle that's ma manufactured between the hypotenuse and the, the horizontal. So quite useful in a number of different ways, being able to measure um, horizontal and vertical distances in one display. Um, now let's go to the grip points. Uh, they're kind of a specialized case. Uh, I'm just going to hide uh, the signal layer. I'll look at the solder paste layer, which is one of the use cases for this, uh, this measurement. Um, as you remember, we can pick those two, uh, these two pads here, get the center to center, um, obviously edge to edge, center to edge, etc. The grip points, though, basically pick up four corners or the extents of any aperture and the center 
And so this also therefore allows us to measure, so let's say, outside edge of a feature to the outside edge of another feature. So here you can see that the 75 mils from outer edge to outer edge. Sometimes very useful if you're doing solder paste measurements to make sure that apertures are indeed correctly dimensioned. And likewise, when we pick up a, um, a diagonal distance, we can also uh, cycle through with the control button, double click, and you can get both the single hypotenuse distance or the horizontal vertical and angle. So that's it. Uh, any questions, don't hesitate to contact support at graphico.com. And uh, thank you for watching.